Howdy YouTube. Mike Hall here for Naps, New Age Pipe Smokers. Hope y'all are doing well this morning. I'm doing pretty delightful myself. It's a sunny, balmy, wonderful six degrees Fahrenheit for the morning commute. But that's okay. Temperature's gonna go back up in another couple days into the 30s, which is slightly more bearable. Smoking some uh, San Sepulcro, which is one of my absolute favorite blends in the world. I wish they could make more of it, but that's another story. I'm smoking it out of this uh, uh, Caminetto, I think is how you pronounce the name. Um, I don't know what shape this is exactly called, it's a mustache pipe, which, see a little mustache emblem on there, uh, I don't even care what it's called, it's fucking amazing. I got this from uh, Mike Rizzo, Philly Piper, and uh, I didn't realize it because I had never heard of this maker before, really paid attention. Um, until after I bought it from him that he gave me a fucking amazing deal on it. So thanks, buddy. I appreciate you. And uh, I'm pretty ecstatic because I now finally have a pipe that I can smoke ribbon cuts and uh, not be done with the bowl in like 15 minutes. It's a pretty sizable hunk of briar. If I put it right here next to I got my Missouri Meerschaum freehand with me, which is like a whole fucking piece of corn. If you put them next to each other where you can see the stems line up and the draft holes line up, the uh, chamber depth is about the same, but the uh, Caminetto holds uh, at least twice the amount of tobacco because of the difference in the chamber shape. You can see that this is conical, that narrows as it goes down, whereas this is the same depth all the way down and if you look the uh the uh, corn cob is a little bit narrower even at the top but uh last night i tried this guy out with a bowl of five brothers which in that big old hunk of corn even packed packed to hell a bowl of five brothers lasted me about 10 minutes and, uh, and this hit up. Uh, I got a good 20 out of it. And I was smoking really fast because it was freezing outside. Even in my smoke shack with the heater on. So that's pretty awesome. I've already been smoking on this bowl since Pokro for about 15 minutes now. And I'm only just hitting the halfway point. San Sepulchro also being a ribbon cut, although it's a little coarser. Five Brothers, it's a really thin shag. So that's really awesome. And I just love the way it looks, too. It's got that little bit of a jut at the bottom, which is really cool. Just the perfect, like, I, I really love, this is, like, my favorite style of stem just like I love my pipes to be in that slight bend like this I have a couple full bent ones that I like a couple straight stems that I like but that slight bend is my favorite I love the I'm a sucker for the nice flat top finish that shows off the green even though it's uh I know it's only a matter of time before it gets totally fucked unless I really take care of the pipe, which I'll probably do with this one because I like it a lot. I think it, Rizzo might have smoked this thing twice, judging by the fact that I could still see wood at the bottom of the bowl. So thanks again, buddy. This is a, this is a great pipe. I don't really have much else. I just wanted to show off this fantastic hunk of briar. As much as I love uh, love my Savinelli's and stuff like that, 
you can feel the quality difference when you hold this in your hand. Uh, like I said, nothing against my Savinelli's. I love them, always will. But, uh, this is a quality hunk of wood with some really fine craftsmanship behind it. As I was looking up the pipe maker, I saw on Google that uh, Caminetto is Italian for uh, fireplace or hearth, which is fitting for a uh, pipe that you could make a whole ass campfire in. And the Saints of Polcro is good too. I love it, just that that nice, like, slightly citrusy. It's actually, it seems very citrusy to me in San Sepulcro. Those Virginias just pop out, but then with that, uh, with that fire-cured cigar leaf. Basically, like, dark fire made with cigar leaf. That just really sets it off to me. I know a lot of people don't like it. I've heard people. I've heard a lot of people who love it. And I've heard other people say it tastes kind of ashy to them. I'm assuming that's the cigar, the fired cigar leaf. To me, it's absolutely divine. And the, even the tin note is just like so nice, it's smoky and citrusy. I'm gonna have to go hunt for a couple more tins of this stuff soon. I got a couple left. Actually, I think I'm. Yeah, I got a couple tins left. Right One day it'll all be gone, unfortunately. Uh, the uh, this particular leaf, the cigar leaf that they use, came from a cigar factory in Italy, which has since uh, stopped production, and that leaf is no longer available. bad. Luckily there's many other amazing blends of tobacco to enjoy. But I'm gonna appreciate uh, every puff of this while I got it and while I can find it. Seems pretty light too. Considering its size and all. I would expect it to be a jawbreaker, but it's not. Well, I guess that's all I got today. I won't babble y'all's ear off anymore. I just wanted to show off this uh, beautiful pipe here. And uh, say thanks to Rizzo. Because it's fucking amazing. So I hope y'all have a beautiful day. And uh, remember... The universe might piss down the back of your neck every single day, but it'll only drown you once, so keep your fucking chin up. Later, guys.